Hi again, it's Andrew, the Amazon expert, and we're looking at is anyone else selling white label versions in the risk factors category? Now, what is a white label version you're going to say? Well, let's click into this and make some progress. Now, a white label product is basically an own brand, so it's like anywhere you go and you will buy in your weekly shopping an own branded item. It is made for that company using their branding, using their logos to their instructions. And sometimes they are direct copies with a minor adjustment or a minor tweak in the mix if it's a food based product. So white label product is quite simple. You find something, you like it and you copy it. We'll talk about copying in a moment or two. Just bear with me on that one. So where can you find manufacturers? Well, that's quite easy. Depending on what country you want it manufactured in, you can go worldwide. So the easiest place to start, if you want to come out of China, Asia, and some European countries, is to go to Alibaba and have a look who is offering their manufacturing services there for the type of products you want to manufacture. And then after that, it's search some of the trade magazines and find who is actually manufacturing. It may be in the UK, US, Australia, doesn't really matter which country you're looking at, you will find people that will manufacture. Now, one of the things with white label products, they will have minimum runs that they can do. So you might say, well, I only want a hundred to start with to try it. Well, that's fine. They may be able to do that. They may be able to do a run of a hundred. They may be able to do runs as short as four or five. It depends on the product, the product type, how long it takes for them to gear up the production line or the production process for them to actually make the product. Plus, you've obviously got to think about the packaging, which we're coming on to in a minute. So you need to have that conversation with them. And when you're first bringing your own white label product to the market, what you want to do is test it with a small quantity first and tell these people you are testing it you're going to bring in a small number of product after you've agreed the sample. You are then going to test the market to see how the market reacts, make any tweaks that you need to, and then assuming the product meets A, your standards and quality control, and it also sells, then you will obviously be increasing the orders and working with them on the future orders. So they don't want to lose you as a potential customer they will actually want to work with you. So you're going to find that your first products are going to come out really, really well from the quality assurance point of view. Secondly, when you do get into the stage of putting your second, third or fourth order, do not forget to do your QAs. Do not forget to do your quality assessments because the moment you take your eye off the ball and you don't do it will be the moment they'll be able to slip in something slightly defective. I'm not going to say that's what they would do and all manufacturers would do that, but there are occasions where that can happen so be mindful of it and how do you make your own brand well that's simple you look at the brands that are out there and we're back to looking at their logos and possibly copying some of the detail again you're going to have to be very very careful of uh, tra infringing trademarks and copyright and things like that so you need to possibly do a little bit of work but go and have a look it may be that you're going to use the same colors you may use similar lettering, similar wording. Now, when you're looking for trademarks, you will find that there is online trademark directories. Some are chargeable. Some will give you free opportunities to go in and have a look for trademarks. So you can find what is legally trademarked and what isn't. Now, a tip here for you is if you create a brand and you want to trademark it, all you have to do is put that little TM at the end of it and you've trademarked it is as simple as that. You can go through the process of registering your designs, registering your logos, everything like that. That is up to you, it depends on the type of business you want. For me, I would sooner just go in, put TM along the side of it, and get on with the job of making money. If it becomes a major, major trademark and it's doing really well, then I might go to the next stage of creating some legal documents behind that. But at the very beginning, Personally, I wouldn't be worried too much about that. So get your branding and your logos designed quite easily. You can go to places like Fiverr.com, Elance, and places like that, Odesk, and they will do the branding. You can find branding experts out there, and they will charge you once they have come up with a design and a brand. 
that you think you like and replicates in some way without infringing the other brands the products that you're looking at so when the customer first glances at it they can recognize and see that oh that is something that I'm looking for and it has got some similarities and at the end of the day in retail that's what it's all about we all copy each other in some way shape or form so then that comes to the packaging materials now a lot of people get this bit wrong at the very beginning and correct it later but what you want to do is make sure the packaging is being made for the product at the point of manufacture so that it is coming out ready to go not that it's coming out in big boxes with 12 in there that you have then got to repackage when it comes to you or to your warehouse spend a little bit more on the packaging at the manufacturer's end so that it can then go straight into Amazon FBA or your other fulfillment service unless you're dispatching that yourself and it can go straight off on the carrier with all the barcodes and SKU codes and other coding and details on the side of the packaging and the easiest way to do this is to send it if you're going to use Amazon's FBA and if you're not going to use that using independent doesn't matter but you have it sent directly from the manufacturer to Amazon depending which country it's going to it'll depend on how long it's going to take to get there but you have it sent straight from the manufacturer to the fulfillment house that simple and if you want a couple sent to you so that you can do the quality assurance then have a couple sent to you as well but have them dispatched straight to whoever is providing your fulfillment services so then that's one less thing you've got to worry about and it's one less cost in the chain so there you go white labeling is very very simple as long as you get all the ingredients right and it's just about going through the ingredients and obviously we're going into more of this in greater detail at this stage this is just giving you an overview of the massive 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 opportunity you have to make some real money on Amazon Andrew signing off and see you on the next video